Welcome back everyone. This is part two of our security starter kit Cloud Connect quick start guide walkthrough. Uh, in the last video we created and downloaded um, our EC2 key pair and we set up our S3 bucket for this demo. We also downloaded the SSK database.zip folder from the Aero Electronics GitHub. Now we're going to proceed with uploading and configuring those documents uh, to work with cloud formation. So we'll go back to our S3 bucket, choose the bucket we created, and we're going to upload some files. I'm going to choose Add Files and go to our Downloads choose our SSK database, the unzipped version here, and we're going to select to upload everything but our root YAML. We need to edit the root YAML before uploading it um, so that the cloud formation will have the correct addresses for some of its pointers, and we'll show you that process next. So upload these four files, S3 bucket, RDS, IAM, and EC2 YAML. And we're going to choose Upload. You'll see that all of these have successfully uploaded. Now we need to edit our root.yaml file. So to do that, I'm going to open this with a text editor. You can use any editor you want. Um, today I'm going to be using Notepad++. It's a tool that I like to use. And if you look at the root.yaml file, going to scroll down to our resources. So you can see here that the template URL is pointing to an rds.yaml file. Our server stack is pointing to an ec2.yaml file. The IAM stack is pointing to an iam.yaml file. And the S3 bucket is pointing to an S3 bucket.yaml file. So what we need to do is replace the URLs here with the URLs of the versions of these files that we just uploaded to our newly created S3 bucket. So to do that, we're going to go through one by one and copy the address of the files that we just uploaded and paste them into our root.yaml file. So the first one on the list here is rds.yaml. So we'll go to our bucket, we'll click on rds.yaml, we will copy this object URL here, and we're going to go to our notepad, and we're going to replace this address. And you can see now the address points to sskcc demo bucket, which is the name of our bucket, and US East 2, which is the region in which it's created. So now this template URL is pointing to our RDS YAML. And we need to repeat this process for the other three files. Next is our EC2, so we'll follow the same process. We go back to our bucket, click on EC2, going to copy the URL, and we're going to replace this EC2 with our bucket address. 
We'll do the same thing for the last two, IAM and S3. Just like that. And we're going to save this so that it's updated. And now that we have our edited root.yaml file, we can upload it to our S3 bucket. So we'll go ahead and close this. We can get rid of these extra tabs since we don't need them. Navigate back to our bucket here and choose upload. We're going to add a file. Now we're going to add our newly edited root.yaml and upload. All right. Now we have all the files that we need in our S3 bucket, including our edited root.yaml file. In the next video, we're going to begin the cloud formation process using these setup files uh, to cr rapidly create our SSK Cloud Connect front end. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.